Overseas-based relatives of Bibi Ramjet, a 85-year-old grandma who was bound and strangled to death on October 25, 2020 at her Lagrange West Bank Demerara home, have made the sacrifice of traveling to Guyana to attend each court hearing just to ensure that justice prevails. Detectives had told AGP Nightly News that at least four persons were involved in the murder of the Lagrange granny. So far, three of those suspects have been charged with murder during the course of a robbery, while efforts are being made to locate more persons said to be involved. Those charged are an early school leaver, a 34-year-old taxi driver of Kitty, George Chung, and the alleged female mastermind, Janky Tapsi, are being cross-examined before a Wales magistrate court. However, relatives of the dead woman does not have much confidence in the police to properly prosecute in their absence. As a result, they have chosen to make a sacrifice to travel to Guyana from the United States of America and Canada just to be present for each court date to ensure that justice prevails. Son-in-law of the dead woman, Arif Bakas, and daughter Bivi Zenul made the trip for Wednesday's court hearing, and according to Bakas, they have been doing this for the last year. We've been traveling back and forth for the last year or so to ensure that we get some amount of justice for our mother and for the siblings that can be here to share the support. Um, it's heart rendering and we just want to ensure that those, the accused, the alleged accused, that they, full, they feel the full length of the justice. Despite it is proving costly to make the trips, they believe that it is necessary, not only so that his family could receive closure for the murder of a loved one, but also to prevent the perpetrators from being out on the streets to repeat their crime and hurt another family. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money because you still have to, I, for rental a car, places to stay, uh, you know, we have to ensure that wherever we stay, it's a secured location or whatever it is. So, you know, it, it adds up. But if we just let it down, we don't know what will be the outcome of this case. And we don't want these people to be out on the road again and to hurt anyone or to kill anyone. It seems like this is a normal trend now in Guyana. It's heart rendering and to see that young people, you know, are, are, are making this a money making venture and it, it's a concern for the future. During the recent court hearing, the alleged female mastermind changed the lawyer and the case had to be postponed until April 20, 2022. However, Bacchus believes that the prosecutor can do a better job because it appears as though the matter is being dragged and prolonged. I mean, I think things can be a little bit more done in a uh, timely fashion in the sense that time is, is of the essence and um, getting everyone together. I mean, today the case was uh, postponed to another, uh, to April 20th. It means that uh, the police and the prosecutors need to get the, their act together in getting the, uh, the witnesses from Burbese or wherever, you know, together that, you know, keep, stop prolonging and stretching out the cases, you know, I mean, it, it, people have their normal lives to live also. Meanwhile, as the family continues their efforts to ensure that justice prevails, they remember the day when they received the devastating news that the kind, friendly and generous Lagrange granny was found murdered in her home. There are times we still sit down and cry. Uh, kind. She allowed people to stay in her home until they got on her feet. What more that someone would want for that? For a kindness to go far away and then to have a death like this. To know how many families that she helped. And there are a lot of people in this area can attest to that. That she put them on their feet and then they left the house 
and moved on with their lives. Ramjit, who operated a small grocery shop on the bottom flat of her home, was reportedly found dead around 17 hours on October 25, 2020, by a farmer who had gone to pay her some money he had owed her for some eros. It is believed that the mastermind who reportedly worked next door to Ramjit had pulled up in a car with her accomplices mere hours before her body was found. It has been alleged, too, that they scaled a back fence, entered the woman's home, bound her, ransacked her home, stole valuable belongings, and then strangled her to death before making good their escape. This is Shervin Belgriff reporting for the AGP Nightly News.